How do you solve this? That's what we're going to talk about today. This video is brought to you by the Team Laika review books. More about those later. Hi there and welcome to Team Laika where I try to help you prepare better for your next exam. And today we're going to cover word problems that require you to look for the least common multiple. Now I'm not going to lie, the trickier part of this is figuring out na yun pala yung inahanap dun sa problem na yun. So I'm going to give you a number of examples and hopefully when you encounter something similar sa inyong exam, you will know that this is what you need to do. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do that right now. Hit subscribe and hit the like button there in so that more people get to see this content and sana mas marami pa tayong matulungan, hindi ba? Alright, let's jump right in. In this question, it says that Ace takes 15 minutes to complete a lap. Bart takes 20 minutes to do the same. If they start cycling at the same time from the starting point, how long will it take for them to be at the starting point at the same time again? Now to figure out na least common multiple lang yung hanap dito, what you need to do would be to just imagine it. Picture ko ano yung nangyayari sa problem. If the problem involves something, an event na nangyayari, and it asks you kung kailan magtatagpo, ang dalawang tao na gumagawa ng action o ang same person doing multiple actions at the same spot. For example, si Ace goes around every 15 minutes and ito naman si Bart goes around from the starting point every 20 minutes naman. Ang gusto mong malaman is kung kailan sila magtatagpo right here sa starting point. So parang yung mental exercise where we snap Ito, tingiti-isa lang. Tapos ito naman ay double-double. Natanong mo kung kailan sila magtatagpo uli. So, kailan sila magsasabay? Magsasabay sila kung sabay silang matatapos. At dahil sa mabilis si Ace ng limang minuto, sa bawat isang ikot nilang dalawa ay lalamang siya ng extra five minutes. Now, to figure out kung kailan sila magtatagpo sa starting line at magsisimula ng sabay, Kahit na, kung tutuusin, eh, nakalamang na ng dami ng ikot itong si Ace dahil mas mabilis siya, we are going to look for the least common multiple. So, paano ba hanapin ang LCM or ang least common multiple? There are a number of ways and I'll show you a few options. Pero kung gusto niyo ng mas malalim na discussion dito, napakita ko na rin yung discussion na yan in an earlier video. Ilink ko na lang din, okay? The first method is just listing the multiples. Kung si Ace ay in multiples of 15 nagsa-start sa starting line. Si Bart naman ay in multiples of 20. So, inilista lang natin yung 15 times 1, 15 times 2, which is 30, 15 times 3, 45, 15 times 4, 60. Si Bart naman, 20 times 1 is 20, 20 times 2 is 40, 20 times 3 is 60. Now, dahil meron ng matching na numbers, 60 and 60, you could say na magtatagpo sila right at the starting point after 60 minutes. So the answer, 60 minutes or 1 hour. Depende sa kung ano yung nakalagay sa options. Now, syempre yung paglilista, medyo it takes a lot of time. And hindi mo naman din alam kung kailan kahihinto. So what you could do would be to use the ladder method. Na-discuss ko na rin to sa video, so kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, inilink ko na lang din. Okay? Panoodin nyo mo na yun. Works like this, you just build a ladder. Ilalagay lang natin yung bilis nila. So, si Ace is 15 minutes, and you have Bart, who takes 20 minutes. Sa bawat level ng ladder, you will ask yourself, anong number ang pwede mo i-divide sa kanila pareho? Pareho naman silang divisible sa 5. So, you can just divide it by 5. Put 5 sa left side, and then, i-divide na natin sila. 15 divided by 5 is going to give you 3. 20 divided by 5 is going to give you 4. Now, dyan pa lang, pwede ka na huminto. Dahil siya LCM, least common multiple, L shape, you will find the L shape here. Mula doon sa left side hanggang pababa. You just need to multiply everything. 5 times 3 is 15 times 4, which is going to give you still 60 minutes or 1 hour. Pareho lang yung sagot. 
Now, this is also a great opportunity for me to talk about the review books. So, if you want more practice questions, if you want more exclusive techniques, and yung mga explainers ng mga speed uh, methods na ginagamit ko pag ako take ng exam, you can go ahead and get your own copy of the practice test booklets and the workbooks m.me slash team like we ship all over the country so if you're interested message us on facebook para malaman ninyo kung paano kayo makakakuha ng inyo now paano naman kung ganito sabi jill takes four minutes to sew a tablecloth jen takes six minutes to do the same job if they start working at the same time how many tablecloths will jill complete before they start working on a new one at the same time now, this is tricky kasi kung titignan ninyong maigi, and again, some people, pag nagmamadali, hindi nila itong napapansin, ang hinahanap dito, hindi yung oras kung kailan sila magsasabay na magsimula. Kung hindi, how many tablecloths will Jill complete before they start working on a new one at the same time? How many tablecloths? So, ibig sabihin, makakailang tapos siya bago sila magkasabay. LCM pa rin ba ang gagamitin natin? Yes. Pero this time, hindi yung immediate na sagot ang shishida natin. Using the ladder method, na Jill takes 4 minutes, Jen takes 6 minutes. Parehong divisible sa 2, dahil pareho silang even number, so we put 2 here. Now, sa mga nagtatanong din kung bakit madali kong na-figure out kung divisible ba siya sa 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, o kung ano pang number, meron tayong playlist on divisibility rules. Go ahead and watch those kung hindi nyo pa alam yung mga tricks about that. Now, it's time na i-divide na sila sa 2. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Wala na shared factor dyan. So, pwede na natin kunin yung LCM. Same thing, we can multiply these. 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So, ibig sabihin, 12 minutes ang oras that it will take para magkasabay silang magsimula sa panibagong tablecloth. Pero dahil ang tanong ay hindi yung oras, kung hindi yung dami ng tablecloths na tatahiin ni Jill, titingnan natin ngayon yung oras na ginugugol ni Jill para magtahi ng isang tablecloth. Now, kung every 4 minutes nakakatapos siya ng isa, ilan ang matatapos niya sa 12 minutes? Madali lang. I-divide lang natin yung 12 by 4. Kasi kung 12 minutes ang lumipas at kada apat na minuto ay nakakatapos siya ng isa, we go 4, 8, 12. Ilang tablecloths ang natapos niya sa oras na yon? That would be 3 tablecloths. Now again, kung listing naman ang method na gagamitin mo, will it still work? Yes. We can go with Jill, 4, 6, 8, 12. Si Jen, 6, 12. O oh, yan, may match na tayo agad. 12 and 12. Which means, kung bibilangin natin kung nakailang table cost na natapos si Jill, that would be 1, 2, 3. The answer is the same. Three tablecloths ang matatapos niya bago sila magsabay na magsimula uli. Now, para hindi niyo makalimutan yung pinag-usapan natin, the best way for you to lock that in is through a quick quiz. So if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Alright, let's see how you did. Sa unang tanong, sabi dito, a warehouse has boxes that are 12 inch tall and 15 inch tall. They are sorted and stacked separately. What is the shortest height at which the two stacks will be the same height? Now, obviously, hindi ito kaparehong kapareho ng mga tanong kanina. And the reason why I did that is dahil gusto ko maging pamilya na kayo with the many forms that this type of word problem could take. Ano ang processing natin to figure out na LCM pa lang hinahanap? Well, you could imagine it. 
dalawang stacks or dalawang pinagpapatong-patong na pillar ang binubuo. Yung isa, 12 inch tall ang bawat isang kahon. So you go 12, 12, 12, like that. The other one, 15 inch tall, a little taller. And bawat isa rin sa kanila, 15. Sinusort daw sila at sinastack ng magkahiwalay. At aabot sila sa isang punto kung saan magkasing tangkad sila. Kailan yun mangyayari? Kapag yung multiples ng 12 at multiples ng 15 ay equal. So again, even from this drawing, you can start figuring that out by just adding the numbers. Anong multiples ng 12? We have 12, 24, 36. If you add another one, and another one, this will be 48, and 60. Sa 15 naman, we have 15, 30, 45, at kung magdadagdag ako ng isa pa, na 15 inches din, 45 plus 15 is 60. 60 inches yung tangkad ng 5 boxes na 12 inch tall. At 60 inches din ang tangkad ng 4 boxes na bawat isa ay 15 inches tall. Ibig sabihin, pantay na sila ng height. Now of course, hindi eksakto yung drawing dahil ako lang ang gumawa. Pero I'm hoping na kung nyo pa yung idea. So ano yung shortest height at which pantay sila? That would be... Here, at 60 inches. You can use the listing method or you can use the ladder. If you have 12 and 15, parehong divisible sa 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 15 divided by 3 is 5. Again, LCM ang inahanap, we go L, multiply everything, 3 times 4 is 12, times 5 is 60. Again, 60 inches ang sagot. Now, dahil gusto ko, eh, ready kayo pagdating sa exam, paano ko ang tanong ay hindi what is the shortest height? But, how many 15 inch boxes need to be stacked for the two stacks to get to the same height? Dahil ang hinahanap ay kung ilan yung 15-inch na boxes, we go 1, 2, 3, 4. The answer becomes 4 boxes. And again, if you use the other method, it's just 60 divided by 15, which is 4. Paano yung pangalawa? Sabi dito, Paul can wash one car in 20 minutes. It takes Newton five more minutes than Paul to do the same thing. If they start their shift at the same time, pareho silang nagsimula, ng, nagsimula sila ng sabay, how many cars will Newton wash before they start washing a new car at the same time? So nakita niyo na kanina kung paano natin ito si Nolf. Dalawang tao, magkaiba ng bilis sa paggawa ng trabaho. Sabay nagsimula pero dahil nasa mabilis yung isa, kailangan humabol yung isa hanggang umabos sila sa same starting point. Ang tricky part dito na I'm hoping you caught is this. It says it takes Newton 5 more minutes than Paul. Kung ang ginamit mo sa LCM ay 20 at 5, hmm, I got you. Pag sinabi na it takes Newton 5 more minutes than Paul, ang ibig sabihin niya ay mas matagal siya ng 5 more minutes kaysa doon sa 20 minutes ni Paul. Which means, kung si Paul ay kaya maghugas ng isang kotse or maglinis ng isang kotse ng 20 minutes, Newton actually takes 25 minutes. 5 more minutes o 5 minuto na mas marami kaysa kay Paul na 20 minutes. 5 plus 20. 25. If you use the ladder method, you can divide both sides. By 5, 20 divided by 5 is 4, 25 divided by 5 is 5. Again, LCM ang hinahanap, L shape. So now we just multiply, 5 times 4 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20, times 5 is 100. So 100 minutes. Pero ang tanong, 
And again, you have to be careful with this. You have to pay attention to the details. How many cars will Newton wash before they start washing a new car at the same time? Now, si Newton ay yung red side. This right here. So, kung naka 100 minutes na paghugas ng kotse si Newton, ilan ang matatapos niya? The answer would be 100 divided by 25 or 4 cars. Bakit? 25 minutes, 50 minutes, 75 minutes, 100 minutes. 4 cars. Baliin natin ang ang tanong, paano naman kung si Paul ang hinahanap? Na kung si Paul ang hinahanap, ang sagot, magiging 100 divided by 20. Kasi kung si Paul ang pinag-uusapan, 20 minutes, isang kotse. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 5 cars. As you can see, one question can have tricky versions. Isang additional word can change the entire thing. Isang pangalan nakakaiba can change the entire thing. This is one of the reasons why a lot of people take the exam. Feel confident na parang maganda naman yung ginawa ko kasi mabilis ko naman nakuha yung sagot. Pero yun pala, mali. Kaya dapat, mag-ingat. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung mag-exam din sila. That way, basta namin tayong matutulungan. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon para malaman ninyo kapag ready na yung susunod nating lesson. And sa lahat na ating mga channel supporters, members, those who buy our merch, our books, join the online and live review events, and our uh, digital passes, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. You help me keep the lights on, and you help me help more people. Kung medyo bitin ba sa lessons, we have more, so you can watch these right here. And as you always see sa channel nito, never stop learning. Aja-aja, kain yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.